Hi everyone. So yesterday we made paper towel ribbon. Today I wanted to use more paper towel and we're going to color them up and we're going to make some flowers. Either to use with this or not. So I'm just going to put out some paint and I'm using acrylic paint today. I'm going to use um, a watermelon color, a blue Danube, a yellow, and a purple. And maybe I'll just use one paper towel today. Yeah, just one paper towel will probably work for what I want to demonstrate today. And I'm going to really add lots of water. Actually, I think I'll spray. Okay. I'm making puddles of acrylic paint with water. Lots of water. So I'm just going to, I'm going to scrunch this up. My hands are going to be messy and that's okay. And that's what I'm doing is just moving this around, scrunching it up. Um, <clears throat> I'm going to get in a little closer for you. colors now and get some of this watermelon maybe not enough water in there I want to get some of this blue try not to contaminate it with other colors so Now this will behave differently than the um, than the uh, watercolor, so I'm just going to clean the brush. I'm going to pull this yellow over to the side here. Try to get it by itself, so it's watery. Get some yellow in there. So this looks like fun. So I think that's good. Oh yeah, that's really good. See, I wanted to try this because I, I thought that my ribbon with watercolor was really cute. <clears throat> but I think it can be more vibrant using um, acrylic paint. But um, I want to separate these now while they're wet because once they're dry they tend to want to, to tear so i'm going to dry this and i'll be right back okay these are dry a little bit damp in this corner but that doesn't matter um i am i'm thinking about how wide this is and i so i shouldn't really concern myself with that. So I'm just going to kind of eyeball making these into squares and trying to use as much as I can of what I have. So, and they don't have to be exact, but I am going to, now everywhere they're folded is where I'm going to cut them. I'm hoping I'm in frame here. So, there's one. Uh, this one needs to be cut here. 
and I think acrylic is much brighter than watercolor unless watercolor look is what you're after um, then I would use a better quality watercolor because uh, obviously mine aren't very strong in color they're pretty cheap stuff so um, I really I really love the acrylic paint so these need to be folded again to kind of make a square I don't worry about making an exact square right off the hop because I kind of square them up as I go I've done a video on um, my flowers before where I fold them tip to tip see like that and then you can see that that they're not even so I trim that just trim that off and maybe even the other side like now now they're the same on both sides so I've got the tip at the top and then I'm gonna fold it like that then I'm going to turn it so the tip is at the top and this obviously is not even because like when you fold this you'll see that it's not and I'm going to kind of fold it so that it works kind of sort of <laughs> because if I cut this now don't do it because there's a fold here and you need that to make your flower so what you want now is to make sure all your open ends are at the top see they're all at the top and what I'm going to do is come really close down down here to where the tip is and I'm going to kind of do a petal cutting all of that off I'll have to kind of fix this one a little bit because paper towel, especially single ply, is really delicate. So let's open this up now and see what we've got. How gorgeous, how gorgeous is that? My hands are dirty on that side. How gorgeous is that? I love it. I do love how these turn out and I'm just going to take a different color now and make another one so that we can double up on these and they will be flat that's what I like about these flowers is that they're not three-dimensional at all so I'm just trying to square these up as best I can and I don't think there's anything I can do I'm just going to come over this way folding maybe I can trim that now I probably can um, th this is not see like once you get a uh, tip top then when you fold that you're going to see that it's not you know the greatest so uh because this these aren't folded down here i can trim that off and now it's square so we want to have the open open pieces all the open ones to the top the folds are on each side so now i'm going to go way down to the bottom here and try to make as big of a petal as i possibly can with the size I have and I'm going to go way down right to there and then kind of scooch out so as you see it, it's kind of a a wonky a wonky little petal but it still looks really good <clears throat> be careful opening them because now we're dealing with one ply uh, paper towel and they can tear really easy <laughs> how cute is that so then what I like to do is put this on top of here and kind of you know glue them together and you can glue multiples so we'll do 
another one with a little more yellow because then the yellow will be on the inside or do we want more like this maybe we'll do another one like this more red oh someone's selling something anyways <coughs> tip to the top and i'm going to just trim that a little bit then i'm going to fold it from the tip over Trying to keep it as square as possible, and I'm gonna, I'm just gonna trim this a little bit off, because that's the open top, and get the tip to the top again, fold over, so that you have all the folds here, all the and then another fold there. Flip it so that all all of the um, open bits are at the top, and all your folds are on each side, and then ju then just cut it in a rounded petal going as low down as you possibly can to the center of that petal so then when we open this gently <laughs> and hopefully they don't stick you decide which side is nicer and they're both nice so it doesn't really matter so i can stick that right in the middle and look at this flower like I'm just going to I'm just going to add a little bit of glue now if you were doing this in a mixed media project you obviously wouldn't use glue stick uh, I'm just doing it for um, video purposes and sometimes that's all I want now if we really wanted to get, you know, intricate and whatever, you can put something in the center of this flower. But I really don't think it's necessary when, like even adding these here just to stitch them on. Like how cute is that? That is very cute. <laughs> I love them. Make yourself some paper towel flowers. They're so cute. Bye, everyone.